Welcome to Weekend Market Roundup using Top Down Analysis, 27th July 2019. I am Sagan Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit based in Singapore. Before I begin, let me go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on Superior Profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior Profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual in today's topics, I will cover oil and gold using technical analysis. They tend to impact related stocks. In general, when swing trading stocks, I like to align them with the direction of the market. I'll study market direction using NASDAQ and NYSE market bread and technical analysis of market ETFs. In addition to aligning the trades with market's direction, I like to align them with industry strength. I will analyze that using industry scorecard. Along the way, I may review some of the trade ideas shared in our traders forum. You may access the Traders Forum from our homepage. It is open to the public. And I look for potential trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. I begin the commodities analysis using oil, using the oil ETF USO. I am analyzing it using the weekly backdrop chart template and daily hop on or entry chart template. Together I call this at a glance template because using this template you can decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. In the weekly chart oil is inside a triangle pattern this week's backdrop candle color is magenta bearish and the candle shape is also bearish in the daily chart also price is inside a triangle pattern it is near the base of the triangle pattern because it is near the memory support we are not going to short it and the weekly is bearish therefore we are not going to buy oil right now gold ETF GLD in the weekly chart in this area gold went up strongly the weekly backdrop candle color was bullish cyan for past two weeks the backdrop candle color changed to yellow. This week's candle shape is bearish. In the daily chart, price is still in an uptrend. It is supported by the memory support line. Unless price can break down below the memory support, I am not going to look for any short trade. The weekly is neutral. Therefore, I am not going to look for any long trade right now. From commodities analysis, we move on to market breadth analysis. I am studying market breadth using NASDAQ Composite Index and NYSE Composite Index, both using weekly charts. Along with three pairs of internals, new high low, advanced decline and up down volume. Both NASDAQ and NYSE displayed the bearish headwind possible reversal signal one week ago. 
this week Nasdaq went up again, made a new all-time high. NYSE also went up, but it is reasonably away from the previous all-time high. The internals are bullish this week. All the six internals closed above zero and five internals went up. The only internal that didn't go up from previous week is the new high low of NYSE. However, in aggregate, we must say that the internals are bullish. S&P 500 ETF SPY SPY displayed a bearish headwind in the weekly chart one week ago. This week it went up again and made a new all-time high. Weekly backdrop color is bullish and the shape is also bullish. In the daily price is going up. It is in an uptrend and price is supported by multiple memory trend line support. On Friday, the candle was bullish in color, bullish in shape. It was too close to the upper boundary level. If you are holding a long position in SPY, you may continue to hold that. It is too close to the upper boundary level to enter a new long position right now. Nasdaq ETF QQQ QQQ also displayed bearish headwind one week ago in the weekly chart. This week price went up again, made a new all-time high. This week's backdrop candle color and shape both are bullish. In the daily price is going up. Price is supported by a memory support line. It is too close to the upper boundary level to enter new long trade right now. Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF DIA This is weaker than SPY and QQQ. You can see that from the relative performance line tilting down. The weekly backdrop candle color is yellow, neutral and the candle shape is indecisive, doji shape candle. This could not make a new all-time high. In the daily chart, instead of having any memory support line, we have a memory resistance line showing that it is starting to topple over. It is still in an uptrend. However, if the market goes down, it seems that DIA will give better shorting opportunity than SPY and QQQ. Russell 2000 ETF IWM this was the strongest of the four market ETFs and it continues to be the same. In the weekly chart, price is still inside the triangle pattern. This week's candle shape and color both are bullish. However, it is continuing to remain inside the triangle pattern. In the daily also, it is moving without any clear direction inside the triangle pattern and also not able to go above the watermark high. If the market goes down, then other than DIA, IWM may give better shorting opportunity than SPY and QQQ. The market breadth was bullish. Market ETFs were also bullish. What about the sector performance? Here I am looking at one month sector performance. The red bar represents performance of the current week, green bar performance of the previous week and blue bar performance of two weeks before that. Together they represent one month of performance. This week most of the sectors went up by significant percentages. Only utilities and energy decline. That is very different from what we saw one week ago. 
that time most of the sectors went down the green bars came to the left of the zero line what about the blue bars they are all positive this is showing that though the sectors are strong this week over one month period they are showing up down up move this is not the easiest market situation to profit from swing trades another look at the sectors using scorecard and heat map here you can look at the 11 sectors performance across 12 monthly periods and then more frequently over 10 day 5 day periods etc cyan represents strength magenta represents weakness this week infotech and communication services are the strongest sectors utilities and energy are the weakest sectors if you are looking for buy setups you may look for them in the strongest sectors that is infotech and communication services if you are looking for shorting opportunities will you look for them in energy i will not do that because energy has been weak for a long time and the best shorting opportunities might have passed us instead i might look at utilities it was stronger earlier shown by the science score in earlier periods and now it is one of the weakest sectors you may look for shorting opportunities in utilities you could also use the pace column to decide where to look for buy and where to look for short trades this represents acceleration and deceleration cyan represents acceleration communication services is the most accelerating sector now and it is also the second best performing sector that is where i will look for buy setups for shorting you might look at consumer staples and consumer discretionary sectors these are the most decelerating sectors those are the conclusions you may arrive at using the sector analysis however sector level tends to be quite broad to make more accurate trading decisions you may drill down into the industry level and buy into strong industries and short into weak industries industry scorecard and heat map using this you may either buy into the industries that are strong now or you may buy into the industries which are accelerating let me analyze few of the strongest industries diversified chemicals is one that was weak earlier the score was in magenta color now it is turning into cyan here you may look for stocks that are at a very low price level probably near 52 week low and are just starting to go up if you are looking to buy such a stock you would buy them provided they are of optimal valuation that is undervalued stocks another kind of industry where you may look for buy setups are like the automotive retail industry which is already strong for a while the score is in cyan color for a number of review periods you may look for stocks that are with high earnings growth let's drill down into automotive retail there are multiple stocks we may sort them by one week performance by double clicking on the column header several of the stocks went up by more than 14 percent this week out of that sah has increasing earnings growth in the latest quarters let's have a look at sah using q technical charts sah 
using the weekly daily at a glance template. In the weekly chart this week it went up strongly after earnings. The backdrop candle color is bullish and the shape is also bullish. Price is very close to the long term memory resistance line. If you took a long position earlier you might consider booking some profit especially if price comes down below this memory resistance line. In the daily chart price is well above the upper boundary level. It is overbought as shown by the stretch band indicator. You may not look for a buy setup now. If you look back into the chart, where was the last buy setup using Q technique? That would be on this candle when price went up and broke above the watermark resistance with a cyan color candle and with high activity. In one of the previous webinars, I explained that when a stock is going up, then moves in a narrow sideways range and breaks out of the watermark resistance. Then we may look for a buy setup provided we have a low risk entry opportunity. And on this sand color candle we had a low risk entry opportunity. The entry would be at the close of the candle and stop would be just below the memory support line. After that price went up, if you took a long position on this cyan color candle, you had significant profit after the price gapped up, you could book at least partial profit and continue to hold partial position. Under what circumstances I suggest continuation of holding of at least partial position? That is when the fundamentals are still strong the industry is strong and the technical is also strong. Those are true for SAH and therefore you would exit partial position but not full position. You would try to let profit run on the remaining position. The previous long entry setup using Q technique was on this candle. What about prior to that? You had a go with flow trend following long trade setup on the cyan color candle where price was going up with higher high and higher low and you had the cyan color candle. If you ran Q sonar search program that can look for the go with flow trade setup along with other Q trade setups, you could take a long trade somewhere in the middle of this candle using real time data you wouldn't have to wait for the candle to close. And that trade also ended up giving significant profit. If you look back further, then you had the previous go with flow trend following long trade setup on this sign color candle. You would enter the trade at the close of that candle, putting stop just below the recent low. And as the stock went up, you made significant profit in that trade as well. These examples illustrate how you can start to buy a stock as it keeps giving Q trade setups in the long direction after a prolonged downtrend. As the stock was starting to move up, you could take low risk long entries at multiple points using different Q trade setups. I explained the automotive retail industry. This industry has been strong for a while and demonstrated how using the Q trade setups you could take long positions at multiple points as the industry was going up in stocks that were fundamentally strong. 
you can see a different situation in diversified chemicals this was weak earlier only now it is starting to strengthen here you would look for buy setups at the very bottom preferably in undervalued stocks let me drill down into the underlying stocks CC is an interesting stock it has optimal valuation the valuation and the secondary valuation both the scores are in cyan color it has positive earnings growth in the yearly periods earnings quality is robust shown by cyan color in the earnings quality column and it also has a short squeeze potential even before opening the chart looking at the 52 week low column you can see that this is very near 52 week low therefore if you are going to buy this stock it will not be a buy in an uptrend it will be a buy at the very bottom let me look at the chart CC using at a glance template. In the weekly chart, it had displayed a bullish headwind at this point, and from there, price went up. Then, price retraced, took out the support, the watermark support created by the bullish headwind signal, and then price continued to go down. From this point onward, the backdrop candle color turned yellow. Though price dropped, the backdrop candle color didn't turn magenta, bearish. And now for three weeks, it is holding on to this price level. This week's backdrop color is neutral and the shape is indecisive. Looking back, into the chart we can see the previous pressure was bullish pressure in the weekly chart in the daily chart there was a bullish headwind at this point from where price went up here also price dropped and took out the watermark support created by the bullish headwind signal then price is wandering around not going down not going up if you look back into the chart you see that the previous pressures were all bullish pressures there was no bearish pressure since the bullish headwind appeared it is inside a squeeze and it is at price extreme or pendulum low the stock is fundamentally strong the industry was weak therefore it is only natural that the stock had a drop now if it can go up comes out of the squeeze then you may have a low risk squeeze release by trade setup you may see the squeeze more clearly from the volatility q chart template if price can go out of the squeeze then you may have a low risk squeeze release by trade setup I demonstrated two different ways of looking for buy trade setups using the top-down analysis one is to look into the industries like automotive retail which had been strong for a while here you might look for stocks with earnings growth and stocks that are not overvalued yet and you might also look for buy setups in industries like diversified chemicals which are just now turning into strength here you would look for buy setups in stocks that are undervalued you could use the same industry scorecard heat map to look for shorting opportunities you would look for shorting opportunities in industries that are currently weak or where 
the industry is decelerating. As the current market condition is bullish, I am not looking for shorting opportunities right now. Before I end, let me summarize. The market is bullish. Market breadth is bullish both for NASDAQ and NYSE. All the internals are positive. Market ETFs are also bullish except for Russell 2000. SPY, QQQ and DIA all are in an uptrend. DIA displayed a doji candle at the very top. If the market goes down, then DIA may give a short setup using the concept of reversal from the top after displaying a doji candle. If the market topples so far, then Russell 2000 ETF IWM or small cap stocks may also give lucrative shorting opportunities. This ETF IWM is lagging the other market ETFs. How far? If the market topples so far is a hypothetical statement. The market is bullish. There is no doubt about that. And in such a market situation, it is easier to make profit from taking long trades. You may look for those long trades either in strong industries, industries that has been strong for a while, or industries that are just starting to turn around from weakness to strength. In either case, you will look for buy setups in strong fundamental stocks. Strong fundamental either in terms of valuation or in terms of growth. And you will always look for buy setups that are giving low risk entry opportunities. Whatever be the market condition using the top down analysis by aligning the industry strength with fundamental strength and technical strength, you are able to look for low risk high probability trades. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in my next session in next weekly market roundup and also in the live market meeting that I conduct every week. You may register for the live market meetup from the webinar menu on our homepage. Thank you once again. Have a great week and trade profitably.